Hello, Kazjim here, and today I am checking out the relatively new uh, Direwolf 1.12 mod pack from Minecraft. I'm really excited about it because basically I, I for the first time in what seems like forever, I had to take a break from gaming in general, particularly Minecraft, because Minecraft for me is a huge time sink, so I love spending time in Minecraft. However, now that I'm through kind of the crazy three, four month span that I was in, I'm back into it and oh, I love it. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to try a new mod pack. So the obvious choice was Direwolf 2112 because it's new. Direwolf normally puts together pretty good, robust packs with a lot to do. And it's a, I feel like it's a good one that a lot of people would probably try to get into. So, you know, maybe I can help convince some people that's not a bad idea. Who knows? Either way, let's go ahead and hop right in. So to hop in here, I'm going to go ahead and create a single player world. Uh, let's go ahead and fix my window real quick. There we go. Alright, we're going to call this Kaz Gems Let's Play. Game mode survival. So and I haven't even looked at exactly what's in the pack, but I'm assuming a lot of the standards are there. Lost Cities. Huh. I am... Uh, I think I want to do that. What kind of customization is there? Ancient, Atlantis, Chisel. I'm just going to leave this all as default and kind of see where it takes me. Oh, let's let the world generate around me for a minute. All right, let's see what we've got here. We are in a ruined city. That That's predictable. All right, uh, let's see what we can do to get started here. Okay, we've got open computers, one pro, astral tone. Ooh, astral sorcery. I really liked that mod whenever it was used, whenever I was last playing, like, oh my goodness, four months ago. And then, of course, Tinkers, Integrated Dynamics. I haven't played with Integrated Dynamics. Actually, I'm just going to get some standard wood. Just, I am glad I didn't hop that. <laughs> that could have been really bad right off the bat. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get back into what I was starting to do uh, several months ago. And, wow, that's really beautiful down there. Uh, what I'm going to do is create uh, basically just a video series based on this mod pack. I'm going to, I mean, I'll probably play it most days for at least a little bit just to kind of catch up and things like that. But I'll release a few videos a week of this. So there will always be a little bit of extra content. And yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to roll. And I'm not foreseeing another ridiculous semester like what I just had. For those that don't know, I am finishing up my Doctor of Musical Arts degree, and I just had a really, really rough semester, so I just had to kind of call it quits on a lot of things I enjoy. Such as, you know, Minecraft, WoW, things like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm back now. I don't intend on the... Oh, there is a skeleton here. There is a skeleton here. But, yeah, so that's where I went. I don't plan on leaving again, unless I absolutely have to, obviously. But All right, we'll use this bone to beat the skeleton. How poetic. Hopefully I can beat this guy. You know what? Flight. That's what... Yep. And there's another one. Ha! Ha! Not smart skeleton, that's... Well, first day back, that happens. I'm not proud of myself. My sound isn't coming through. I'm realizing. Let me do something about that. Come on. There we go. Alright. 
There we go. I was testing it with a video. Okay, so <laughs> now let's get started. <laughs> All right, third time's the charm. So yeah, let's just uh, see what the small pack has to offer. First thing I'm going to do though is I need to find a place to stay, and that over there looks like a fantastic place to stay. It's it's got lots of space. I could do a lot of things with it. It's a good vantage point. So I've pretty much decided that that's going to be at least my initial base of operations. Let me see if I can find an easier way in. There are spawners galore, too. Wow. That's... I like this. It's like a pedestrian mall. Okay, but let's... Let's focus on getting up in there. Also keep my eye out for sheep. I'm not getting my hopes up for sheep, but it would be great if sheep existed nearby. These are all actually pretty good places. Huh. Who knew? Let's... Let me figure out, because I did have my eyes on that building, but I want to figure out if that's actually going to work, because I can't figure out how to get over there. I mean, first things first, let's actually get our basics going. Get our crafting table, station. Let's make a sword, too, because there's lots of baddies around here. Alright. There we go. Let's just break in. Okay. That goes pretty far down. That's cool. I need a light source if I'm going to survive. There's a furnace. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think this is intended to be an indoor pool, but it's what happened. Alrighty, let's grab the furnace. Other furnace. Let's grab this. That is a really good boost early on. These two buildings are adjoined. I need to keep that in mind. There's something nasty going on. Oh, they're over there. tell you. Now I need light. Why did I put that backwards? All right. This will be my initial base of operations. Nothing fancy by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm alive. That's what matters. dead, but it's got less health, which is good for me. There we go. 
Are you the half dead one? And now I've got to go back again. This is this is a wonderful start. I'm glad I chose not to do hardcore. Someone's got to get my neighbor here a sandwich. Ugh. All right, so we are back outside. The terrors of the night are over, and there's coal right in front of my door. So this is going to be great. I will get some coal. I'm also going to grab some stone. Just that piece there. But yeah, I'm pretty much just going to waste this piece. better things. Alright, now let's head inside and see what I can get. All Sorry, right. I don't know that. <laughs> Activated the dot. Alright, let's see what damage we can do. Crafting station here, because why not? We're going to put furnaces right here. We're going to craft a better sword. There we go. Also going to get our first non-wood pickaxe. And we're going to do this as well. There we go. Okay, now let's get a chest to store some stuff in. A small chest to start with, but meh, necessary. Necessary first steps. Pork chops going. Mana in a box. It probably doesn't have an acquired taste. That's just what people with Stockholm Syndrome say. Oh, I like coffee. It's an acquired taste. No. Can't be a good taste if you have to, quote, get used to it. Doesn't make any sense. Got enough that I'm now comfortable ish seeing what's over here. I say ish. That was a poor decision. Okay, new goal bet. Okay. 
seven I want. Six, F5, nope. F10? Okay, one of those does a thing. I'll figure out which one it is. Or whichever mod it is we're using for that. What's up here? There we go. There are some bookshelves over there. That's a good sign. This is almost the highest vantage point in the area. This is going to be a cool map to explore. I can't wait. I really can't. All right, let's go back down. And actually, let me try and see if I can figure out which hotkey it is I'm looking for. No. Uh, that's full screen. Don't want that. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it under controls. I think it's JEI that does it now. No, it's not JEI. It's it's someone does it. Someone does it, I'm pretty sure. It's F4? Oh, it's on mod now. Who knew? Check the roof, make sure I don't get any nasty surprises. Alright, we're fine there. Let's go down a floor, check that. Okay, this room's a little, little dicey. So we'll do that. Something right there. Okay, let's go back to my little hovel. Ooh, not entirely safe. That could have been bad. We're just trying to make it safe right now. I'm not as worried about making it pretty yet. That'll come. Form first, or sorry, function first, form later. Almost got that backwards. That could. Been... Clearing up 
basement. Got a little infestation. Yes, I know, pickaxe on that cat. There's the spawn at Spider? Lumpy. That will be handy. Now, let's continue just clearing things out. It's nighttime for the side, anyways. I'm gonna grab. Just jump start on the books. Oh no, I'm lost. How will I ever find my way home in this endless city landscape? Oh, I, I guess the place with all my death markers is a pretty good hint. Ugh. I have scaled down the side of a building in an effort to hunt the sheep. There you are. Two more wool, and I can be safe during the night. <laughs> One more sheep must die so that I may live. Hi there, Kevin. Do you want to help me? No? What's that? Distraction. You're supposed to look at the distraction, Kevin. I didn't want to do it while you looked. Oh, rest in peace, Kevin. First diamonds. Yes! Oh, that's that's just wonderful. Oh, and I have to leave something. Good trade. I don't even have iron. Uh, I guess that's the benefit to playing on such an insane map. And all my struggle to survive and to kind of figure out the lay of the land, I realize that I'm dirt poor. That's right. I need dirt. Really? Nothing? Nothing? Uh, well, I thought it was clever. That's enough dirt to get started-ish on a farm-ish. It's probably just going to be on the top of that building since I'm currently living in here. I want to kind of shift it to where I'm living on the upper floors and the lower floors are more random-ish stuff. And then I'm going to have just some plant life up there for now. Alright, let's get inside before it gets dark because it's going to start that transition very very soon. Back at the homestead and I can make a bed. Not too shabby. I got my bed. Got my first diamonds. I still don't have any iron or infrastructure or growing plants. But I have a bed and that's all that really matters. To me, at least, because, you know, then I can avoid nighttime when, you know, monsters are out. I need to light this up. There's no immediate way to do that, though. Is this a jail or something? Jeez. Okay. So... Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna grab... This, and I'm going to... There we go. This will be my first one. Right here. Just get rid of you. Two there. Three apart. Three apart. And then I've got two in the middle, so it's 
one, two, three in the middle, and one, two, three. This is just for my own sanity. It's not for any special growing things or anything. And then here. Not too shabby. Definitely need to get some lights up here, though, if I'm going to be here more often. And for that, I'm going to need coal. For that, I need to mine. For that, I need to get some storage space. So it's, it's just we're down to basics right now, but we'll get there. We will get there. Let's try. Yeah, I saw that room block dock. Can't light it up yet. <laughs> Actually, use this wood. Come here. There we go. All right. So now I can make two more chests, which gives me a grand total of three more, which I'm going to put in here. Okay. And for now we're just going to do a dump. Just everything goes in here. Now let's grab all this stuff. And we will dump that too. In the earliest, earliest stages, it's best. I still wish that the Tinker Table would interact with iron chests. That would make my world so wonderful. It really would. I wouldn't ask for anything ever again. Just kidding, I would probably ask for stuff. But the sentiment's there, and that's what matters. Sentiment, not sentiment. Wow. Alright, so... Let's grab you. Okay, we're gonna toss you here. Yep, right there. And then, toss the two furnaces there. Alright, so there's my new workstation. I'm happy because I can have a nice safe bed. I, again, I haven't journeyed too far, but I've already got a fair enough start. I think what's next is doing a little bit of mining. So anyways, uh, this is Kaz Jim signing out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later. See ya.